Welcome, welcome, welcome to Daddy Bits, our trade idea show hosted by yours truly, the Trading Daddies. I am your host, the ugly one, and as always, my amazing co-host. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Degenerates Den. The, degener <laughs> the Degenerates Den. <laughs> oh man, we're still here. We haven't, we haven't, we haven't left yet. Meaning that we we still have some skin in the game. But again, May is an interesting month because why john what is the saying for me sell in may and go away we're not gonna go away we're but guess what giving you oh what john pray tell guess what we're not gonna go away we're, we're gonna be there we're gonna hold your hands we're, we're gonna sing kumbaya gonna ups and downs up no matter downs, what lefts and right we got your back in the degenerates den from margin calls to engagement calls we'll do it all <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> oh my god! So if you haven't yet, if you guys want to be through it all, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, give us a nice preemptive thumbs up if you guys like this content. It definitely helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Um, and we'll catch you guys after the intro. Bro, this intro is really growing on me. It makes me bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah, it takes you up and it crashes you down. Just like ecstasy. Just, you know what? Are we, are you reading my mind? Because I was going to go MDMA, but you went the ecstasy route. If you haven't yet, make sure that you guys watch our podcast with, with the almighty JSPs. That was hilarious. Yeah, I couldn't that, stop laughing. Dude, that, guess what uh, shirt I'm rocking? Oh. This is fire. This is it? This is it. This is it for you to sell your stuff. <laughs> hey, guess what? Do you want to make a friendly bet? Oh, let's do a friendly bet it is, John. May 10. Okay, May 10. May 10. It's Palantir's May 10. earnings. 10. That is... Uh, what, a week and a half from now? Next Monday, pre-market, assuming. Monday. Is it pre-market? They always do this. They always like to do pre-market... Yeah, it's always a weekend hold with them. Oh, God. It's, I don't so know juicy. what it is. I, 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 it's so interesting. It's so interesting. So we, we might we might talk about Palantir all week. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we. <laughs> there might be some uh, pre earnings run up and. Uh, pre yeah, pre earnings. I run just want to let you know if if um, if Palantir beats and beats EPS and revenue right here logo. You're gonna go. You're gonna go logo. You're gonna. You heard it here, folks. If if Palantir beats EPS. And revenue per share, John will have the Palantir logo on the side of his head, like a helmet, like a football helmet. Also Shout out to uh, Ed Torres. Oh barber. yeah, your barber. You yeah, he just opened shop. Uh, his shop yesterday. Look at you! Look, shout out to shout out to my barber, my wife. <laughs> she, free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. She was free cutting my hair yesterday. She was cutting my hair yesterday, and she goes, "This is the last time I'm doing pandemic cuts because I gotta." I got, a, I got a barber appointment. I'm getting my second COVID shot on Thursday. So I'm kind of excited. I'm super excited. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, um, this is going to be a very interesting month. Uh, there's going to be high volatility, in my opinion, because there's going to be a lot of... Uh, th we're at all-time highs. We're, we're definitely at all-time highs, and we definitely need to take a look at the charts here. Let's take a look at the QQQ, what happened on Friday. The QQQ, that is an ugly candle. You know what I expect? You know what we spoke about Friday? There's going to be a what? dead cat bounce today or Monday. Monday. Dead cat bounce on Monday. Stay dead above here. Bounce. And then it's just going to go crash, crash all the way down. Maybe around this right here. I think I think we're going to probably end up somewhere in between the EMA 20 and the EMA 50 and have a consolidation period for the month of May until we shoot back out. That's definitely possible, and I think uh, as long as it keeps consolidating, we should be fine. Let's that's take a an look. Ugly, ugly candle. That's Friday. an ugly candle. That's an ugly candle on Friday. That's very ugly. This right here. Let's zoom in. That look. That that upside down cross looked like you know Emily Rose uh, exorcism with Emily Rose. The exorcism. That's, <laughs> a, that's an upside down cross. That is. That definitely uh, sold off during the day. I mean, it found some it found some levels of support and it kind of bounced a little bit, but that's not really that's not hopeful. I'm not very, I'm not hopeful at all for this candle. We might see some more drop down. You see this MACD kind of opening up 
Um, but the RSI is still not bad. So I think that uh, with the RSI still a below the 70 level of being oversold, we might see a dead cat bounce tomorrow. If it does hit that oversold bound, oversold top, we're definitely going to hit uh, more um, more lows. Uh, let's take a look at NASDAQ futures here. NASDAQ futures. Oh, wrong one. Looks all right. But look at that. Yep. Look at that. It touched EMA 9. Right there. Maybe. It touched the EMA 9 and it kind of bounced and it's like flat. Yep. And tomorrow we might be able to test the 20, which is 13, 780 something. 100 yep. points. 100 points. Yeah. 100 points. Who that's knows? that's definitely possible. Who knows? You never we know. Can, we can be stuck right there. Yeah. Yeah, the market's rigged anyways. <laughs> yep. Let's take a look at the SPY. Same thing with the SPY. Nothing really too crazy. Uh, we did see a, a fat gap down. I didn't expect that gap down for the SPY on, on Friday, um, but it's there. And um, it didn't really do much. Let's take a look at the SPY features. Mm -hmm. SPY features. We're looking a little bit more hopeful on the SPY features there. Yeah, um, so, so tech is lagging. As mm -hmm. we can see, tech is yeah. lagging. Yeah, tech is definitely lagging. But the stock that we want to cover, the first one of them, uh, again, not financial advice. These are the stocks that John and I talk about, you know, on the daily. These are the stocks that we want to enter, maybe you know, short, long, you know, depending on our uh, on our preference on the stock. Uh, if you guys are following our trades, make sure that you guys manage your risk accordingly. If you guys lose money, don't blame us. If you win money, shout out so that we can uh, shoot you over that Venmo because you know. Donations, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Coinbase, Carrier Pigeon, Coinbase. Uh, we go take fund uh, me. GoFundMe, everything. We we Come take everything soon. really. We Come definitely soon. take or buy some merch. Like if you win a trade, why don't you just go this, ahead to the store and buy some merch? This is it right? This right? is it. Fifteen percent off your, your your whole purchase. Robinhood sucks. It's still a code. Uh, let's take a look at the first stock that we want to cover is actually CCIV, Churchill Capital. Churchill Capital is, I, dude, I don't know what's going on with Churchill Capital. Or, as Fundamentally, I feel that they are... Um... Crap. Okay, my fine. Bad. Fair oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Go on. It's what, interesting. Were, what were you gonna say? No, it's interesting to me how CCIV hasn't really recovered from no. the hype. Exactly. <laughs> from the hype, and they've pushed down, they've pushed out the lucid air quite but some SPACs, time now. Yeah, SPACs are, are always like that. They're built to pump and then dump. <laughs> yeah, the SPAC, the SPACs are the SPACs are going ham. Um, but this right here, this is very interesting. You see this, you see this candle? That's nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> that's, that's that's gross. That's gross. It's like a rejection on the twenty, and then broke support, and then it's an inverted uh, bear ham. It's a bear hammer. It's like Thor put down the hammer. It's like, it's like you got rejected, you broke support, and then now you finish at the very lowest point of the day. So it's yep. like. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, guys. Good luck. So I'm actually going to take a look at a short position on CCIV. Yeah. I kind of want to see it at the 18s. As possible. If I, if, 19s, if I ever yeah. see the 18s, obviously, I'm not going to exercise this position. I'm going to just short it just to gain some, just to make some gains. And then um, I'll probably just cover around the $18 mark. I, I do see that this is going to dump a little bit more. Um, but there, one thing to note too, there's um, there's a bunch of limit buys. I read somewhere that 1805 is what the limit buys are, and it's a big block too. So I think that's mm -hmm. where they're expecting the stock to go. Um, but that's that's pretty much where I see that. What about you, John? I see uh, 1850, 19, 1850 or 19s. So solid. Yeah, you'd be a, solid. 10% right there, 10% gain on the short side. Mm -hmm. If you are shorting this, if you are playing options, please make sure that you guys buy at the money and not out of the money. You're Dude, don't don't, don't do the kill. same week. Same don't week. Don't do the same week. week. Give yourself some playing, time. Unless you're playing AMC or GME <laughs> or Tesla. <laughs> or, or, oh, no, god damn! <laughs> don't please. I'm done with or, Tesla. Or Tesla. Um, but the next stock that we want to cover is actually CHPT Charge Point. Charge yeah. Point. Charge point. We talked about this yesterday on the pod. Another um, uh, EV play. 
Another EV play. This looks like a better chart, though. Oh yeah, better, way better than um, than CCIV. Plus, they're an actual company. <laughs> that too. Yeah, they're they're not a spec. <laughs> they're an actual company. Um, charge point. I think if we're gonna long charge point, it's still far from all time highs. If we take a zoom back here, it's like fifty dollars is a long time high. We're seeing something like a, a head and shoulders, a reverse head and shoulders right here. Mm. You see that? It's a W recovery. There might be more to the upside here. Okay, okay. I see you. I think 31 is the next level for me. I mean, obviously, you're going to you trade your EMAs. You have uh, – it broke it broke double resistance Yeah, well, it, Yeah, it got rejected twice at 27. So mm -hmm. 27 is a, a major key. Yeah, 27 is a major key. So if you're going to long on CHPT – Make sure that you guys give yourself a month or at least. Yeah, 27. We the best. That's key right there. Yeah, definitely 27 is a good, a good, good time to to exit if you are going to exit. Um, one the the last stock that we want to cover before we um before we head out is um Costco. This is uh John's in Costco right now. I know, and we were yeah, just at Costco this morning. I tried to go get gas at Costco, but there was no gas stations. No gas stations at the one that I went to. But and, John, what um, do you see on the Costco chart? How much is gas, by the way? Don't don't ask. Actually, I'm gonna tell you anyways. Um, it, dude, three eighty six. That's not bad. And in place, like I was in, I was in. Um, where was I? I was in. You know, I spent time with my daughter today, so we drove around, and I saw four seventy two in San Ramon. Wait, what? Yeah. Costco okay. gas is cheaper, obviously, but 472 in San Ramon. For real? Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> so I know, I know, dude. So so long oil for some reason. I have a feeling yeah. long oil. Yeah, oil oil actually looks good. Um mm -hmm. I was looking into uh, energy plays. Um dude, gas over here is like less than three bucks. <laughs> well, okay, lucky. Yeah. Must be nice. <laughs> Must Anyways, we uh, I forgot to send you the receipt. Uh, we we did spend about you know two twenty five at Costco today. Ooh, which was a career low. That that's a record. Is that a record? It might be. Yeah, it might be. A, it might be a record for the lowest for the lowest amount yeah. spent at Costco at any given day. <laughs> so you're in Costco. What do you see? Uh, so we're looking at Costco right here. Costco is showing some strength right here. Um, I am anticipating a, uh, a dead cap bounce. Um, most likely, you know, we, we might see a 0.5 to 1% uh, for the market tomorrow. Who knows? Um, as long as, you know, tech is not running tech. I, I feel like tech is going to drag the uh, the market, um, mm -hmm. you know, for this week. I, I'm still, you know, hopeful that the sell in May effect um, will happen. Um, it, it's always April, you know, you run up the markets and then May it kind of like consolidates or like takes a break. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and overall Costco, and I'm, I'm also short HD, uh, Home Depot, Home Depot and Costco. They, they That's somewhat, beautiful short. yeah, I mean, let's not call it beautiful right now up until it actually, you know, comes into mm -hmm. fruition. Um, you know, Costco right now, we're looking at the, uh, the one month, uh, chart right here. Um, it's been you know, holding the, the 360, 370 level um, for about for about two weeks now since, you know, the 16th, right? Um, actually, no, uh, the 15th, I'm sorry. So it's been hovering within this range for about yep. two weeks now. And um, I'm just waiting for this thing to drop. You know, I, I got shares at Costco. You know, they're they're a great company. They pay dividends, and it's a growing company. You know, it's a hundred, I think, 160, 140 billion, 150 billion uh, market cap. Mm -hmm. um, my next stop right here. So I have two uh, options right here, uh, two contracts. Uh, I'm short the uh, the 370 uh, put, and then. Mm -hmm. um, we'll, what I'm looking for is obviously for it to break the 370. Okay. Uh, if it does happen, you know, 365, 366 yeah, is my right next there. stop. Yeah. 366 is my next stop. But um, looking at, you know, four days ago or three days ago, whatever, uh, the 27th, I, I don't like that candle. You see how it bounced. 
um, that lower wick is such an indicator that, you know, that might be touched. It, we might see, you know, a, a higher high. If it does, I'm, I'm still going to okay. be hopeful. You know, my, my timing might be a little too early for Costco. Yeah. Um, but I do see this, you know, coming down for, I don't know, for, for some gain. Um, I see it. I, I'm not seeing, you know, a crash, but I do see a, a dip coming soon. Um, but who knows? We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? If, you know, if I do see if, if I do see some weakness, uh, if it breaks three seventy, um, I, I might be able to add one more uh, put, you know, just to maximize some gains. But definitely mm -hmm. three sixty six is my main uh, target for now. Agreed. 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 Well, that is it uh, for Daddy Bits. If you guys haven't yet, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button. Post notification bell. Give us a nice thumbs up if you guys like this content. Definitely helps out with the YouTube algorithm and also helps getting other people to see this stuff and information. You know, this is very valuable information that we're giving out for free. So I definitely would love for you guys to share this with the world. Um, and if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys follow us on all our social media. Follow me at Trading Poppy. Follow John at John C. Trades. Follow us both at Trading Daddies, TradingDaddies.com for all your news and your merch. Give us, you know, like fifty percent off for all your entire purchase. Robin Hood sucks. Also, if you guys didn't catch the episode yesterday for, for the Trading Daddies podcast, make sure that you guys do really cool stuff in there, really cool information. Uh, for those who did, if you haven't yet um, and you guys want to learn to become a better trader or if you just want to do a refresher course, make sure that you guys hit up our boy over there at Bust Down Investment. Uh, tell him that the Trading Daddies sent you um, and then he could definitely help you out, uh, become a better trader. Uh, with that being said, let's get trading. Yeah. And the charts do not lie.